Let's write the structure for 2,5-dimethylhexane. And the first thing we notice when we look at 2,5-dimethylhexane is it ends in A-N-E. That A-N-E, that means it's an alkane. It's going to be all carbon atoms, and we're going to have single bonds. Next, we have hex. Hex, that means six. So we're going to have six carbon atoms. They'll be all single bonded. Let's draw that and label the atoms one through six. So right now we have just hexane, six carbons, and the lines, they go to hydrogen atoms. You'll note that each carbon has four bonds. Next, we have methyl. Methyl looks like this. For the methyl, it's CH3. So we're going to put a methyl group on the second and the fifth carbon here in our hexane chain. That di means we have two. So on the second and on the fifth, that's where we put this CH3. So we replace this hydrogen here with a methyl group on the second carbon. And then on the fifth, we'll replace, let's do the one on the bottom. We could do the top or the bottom. Either one's okay. Like this. And now we have 2,5-dimethylhexane. Hexane, six carbons. The A-N-E tells us they're single bonded. The methyl, we have two of them on the second and the fifth of our carbons here. You want to write the molecular formula for 2,5-dimethylhexane. That's C8H18. Note that if you started numbering 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, you'd still have 2,5-dimethylhexane. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.